And for sure now, given our predictions, we're, we're still given a lot of credit and a lot of stock in the, I'd say, experience yeah. and uh, the, the, the more developed nature of uh, MLBB in uh, Malaysia as they go up against Vietnam here in tonight's final best of one. Anything to note here, uh, Aria, on that Kufra? I'm not sure if this counts as a double XP lane start, but... Yeah, yeah. It, I think we're past that window. We're past that window. Um, Arya will not have as much XP as you would want for the Kufra, but you need that ultimate anyway. So I would expect that there will be a switch come the two minute mark or at least one minute thirty mark, wherein both XP the the roamers will go to the X to the mid lane and then. The mid laner will go to the XP lane to have double XP there. Yeah, you really have to be uh, full equipped in terms of uh, the turtle team fight. Uh, but uh, we can see right now for both of our teams, they're just uh, taking their time on uh, taking those uh, possible resources. And uh, yes, uh, as much as possible, you want those uh, level fours or those ultimates to be active on that first uh, turtle team fight. And uh, when we say well, level fours or ultimates, uh, majority of those ultimates are really on the crowd control. So again. Uh, Everyone has to be prepared for those uh, counter counter sets and initiations as well. Curious to see what uh, what the priority will be, especially with this kind with this Kufra and the uh, Kufra and Farsa, a tale as old as time. One of the more icon iconic duels, right? Because you can initiate easily. The range of the Tyrant's Revenge is almost as big as the Fairy Air Strike. Meaning to say, no matter what happens. If you initiate, if you're true with your first skill as the Kufra, you will have a follow-up damage because of that Farsa. That is why I kind of recommended the Yuzhong more than the Lapu Lapu because you have a way to get into the backlines together with the Kufra. But this time it's the Lapu Lapu almost the same. The only problem that he will be facing later on is the Melissa Ultimate. If the Melissa go away is timed perfectly. It can really shut down what the Lapu Lapu can do. Mm -hmm. But of course, there's uh, some CC immunity from the Lapu Lapu. But again, like I said, if you get outplayed as the Lapu Lapu, that Melissa will be able to shred through you. And it's going to be a difficult situation because, uh, yeah, despite uh, Team Malaysia having a solid go. Because again, Team Malaysia, they were in control in the second phase of the draft. Like, it was up to them to make their choice. And what was left for was what uh, Team Vietnam would have built their lineup with. Yep. It now comes down to execution. Now, look at this. In the crowd, that's Team Indonesia in the back. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for who they will eventually face off against. Yep. We're going to be watching. We're going to be preparing. Oh. oh, oh, these are familiar faces. Familiar faces. Yeah, I believe um, uh, for Coach Zico, he was really happy to see uh, Minotaur earlier. Uh, yeah. With that, with that uh, series and yeah. uh, a lot of familiar faces for our crowd yep. on uh, the venue. Yep, that's Mr. Dizon, by the way. Mr. Mr. Dizon. Dizon, yep. Yeah. John Michael Dizon. <laughs> is it? It is John Michael. It, it is. is John Michael. We we have a lot of uh, John Michaels. Yeah. JMD. We, JMD. Let's but go. Uh, yeah, we, we can see on the middle lane that it's going to wow. be an early team fight. Mortal Coil for Anatasha, but uh, Decimate won't be used as Ngok Bay is uh -oh. already there for the counter set. First block will go to Team Whoa. Vietnam. There it is. That was close. That's for an, both. It's an interesting use of the penalties. Oh, you see that, Wolf? You see how the, the animation yeah, kind of exactly. like pulled them in? It's like, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me go. But that is really good for Vietnam. I. You kind of understand why Malaysia went for that play. They wanted to go for the dive in the middle because they wanted to secure the ultimate for Ar Arya. But as a result, they lost one of their members, which is very important. That is their jungler. Although she will be able to get into the turtle pit for this fight, she will not have the buffs because she died. Yeah, that's true. And uh, she has to wait for uh, the cooldown of, of those buffs now. This is a nice pull, by the way, by uh, uh, by Team Malaysia on that this uh, third objective. As to why Team Vietnam will just go in the so middle weird. lane and clear the minion way. They just gave out the turtle because they wanted to go for a different uh, play. But uh, no um, casualty for that uh, wow. team fight or initiation. But it's going to be a nice uh, setup play by Buddy as the oh. blast has been casted. Tuma almost there. But Hani will secure the kill for Malaysia. Man. Could have sworn that Vietnam already has got the advantage. Unfortunately, the pull for Malaysia was great. And Vietnam wanted to go for the invade on the purple buff. It's it's one thing, it's one of the rotations that uh, a prominent 
pl uh, team here in the Philippines, Blackness International did, which uh, were in. They forego the first turtle to invade the jungle instead. They think that it will be much more, uh, in, in, at least in the first turtle, it's much better if you get the purple buff of the enemy instead. In this case, the purple buff was taken second by Malaysia, which meant that the respawn of the purple buff will not be, uh, will not be at the same time as the spawn of the turtle. So, me got baited into that spot. Yep, so... Back oh, to back. Oh, oh, what? From the back. Wow. That is a nice uh, ultimate coming in from Arya. Here comes the third airstrike. No casualty yet. That was close against Miku. And Malaysia is forced to back away because majority of the skills or ultimate has been used already. Okay. How scary. That was scary. Yeah, and impressive. Yeah. yeah. But just the same, it didn't lead to much. Yeah. There's no uh, end of damage yet for uh, Malaysia. But there's the discipline. We saw the discipline because after using uh, those ultimates, they just, uh, yeah, they just went backed away. Out. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Testament to how well Team Vietnam also prepared for this mm -hmm. uh, and, and how great they are, mechanically speaking, under pressure. That's right. Most other teams, uh, whether you're talking about male or w men's or women's MLBB, would have crumbled under that situation given how deep and how far Arya jumped. Oop, uh, yeah, that is true. But uh, by the way, we saw Hani use uh, that uh, flicker already. And uh, that is crucial since uh, this is the turtle object. And we can see Daisy actually bursting that turtle as two players of Malaysia won't. Whoa! Whoa! That is a nice uh, turtle steal by Anatasha. And there's some players of Team Vietnam is struggling to defend themselves. A brilliance out for Daisy. And Anatasha will go away two for, no two for one exchange for our teams. Yep. That means that Malaysia will at least have a little bit of advantage in this uh, game. But. It is easy to say that this still will be an even game. So far, Vietnam did not lose as much, even after their curious decisions of trading for turtles, trading for trading for purple buffs. Now you have me on the Fredrin, zero one and one, but still level seven. Um, he is a little bit of um, XP behind Natasha, but the fact that there's still a lot of m a lot of uh, seconds before the next turtle, which means oh. that they can make a play. Oh, look at that! Arya with the set, Papa. and Akama will come in for that ultimate. We can see Natasha as well to be part of oh. Oh. the zone to counter out. That. that is indeed a penalty zone as uh, Arya is forced to back away. Natasha will force oh. the decimate kill. Gonna be a double kill for the jungler of a Arya. team of Malaysia. Arya will will go in, but uh, yep. Oh, Aria! Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, oh my. Did we not? Did we not say prior to this game starting it's gonna get messy? Look at the trades. As far as this goes, six minutes in, there's a turret up top. It's Vietnam's turn to take a turret. Yeah. Oh man. I thought Arya's gonna, you know, be back to the base, go yeah. in for uh, the TP, but uh, went in for another set of play as the way it was. Uh, yeah. Uh, punished she by not have, me. She didn't have to save on Natasha. Yeah, she didn't have. She didn't have to. But look at that. Penalty zone. Watch out for it. Great timing from Ngoc Bay. Mm, beautifully done. Then they took out the Goldener, which is massive. But on the opposite end, you have the Lapu Lapu and the Farsa combining together to take out the Melissa onto the bottom and then push the lane uh, as well. Now this gives a big advantage to Malaysia because when it comes to just the raw numbers of it, checks and balances, Malaysia was able to get more. And they even dodge that penalty zone once again. Bunny will be able to defend this for sure. So Team Vintam will uh, go in for a trade here at the bottom lane as they will give that turtle for Team Malaysia. Feather airstrike, by the way, has been used as Hani so is early. there. Another casualty at the bottom lane, and Vietnam again. They give the turtle just to take the turret here at the bottom lane. Yeah, I, I just said that it, they will be able to defend for sure. They have both feathered airstrike and bravest fighter, but they didn't wait for the minions to use it. It was far far too early. Well, what it does and what it achieves now is that they gave a little bit of time for Fafau to be able to push, but because of that passive that you get from the turrets, that when it's freshly, when it's tier one is freshly destroyed, it will be so tanky. You saw how the shields and the barrier went in, um, went into play um, for Vietnam. Yep, and because of that. Again, it's evident that Malaysia, the more experienced squad, the squad that actually knows maybe two, three steps from here, what's going to happen. Vietnam, though, they're taking trades. Yep. And I think if this chaos, if it continues this way, I'm looking at Long Beck uh, and I'm looking at, uh, I don't know, Daisy. At, at this point, it's too early for Miku. 
and uh, Mie has been uh, slipping up quite a bit. So, yeah, now, off of Ngokbe and Daisy, if they can pull something out, again, I live for those penalty zone flickers. Yeah. Those are amazing. Those are pieces of art. If yeah. Ngokbe can find another one that hits three or four, then we yeah. could see a gold swing over to Vietnam. We definitely, we saw that uh, earlier on the top lane, but here at the bottom lane, it's going to be me oh. and Ngokbe on uh, that aggression against Bunny. But uh, Bunny's just there to defend the turret as Malaysia again will secure a turret at top lane. So for Malaysia, it's really about the trades, like yep. a buying time on the other lanes. 100%. 2.7 000 gold lead for Malaysia that they can really brute force their way into the team fights because the Lord is going to be spawning in 12 seconds. You can see the positioning. They will activate five of their members. They know that they have the OP heroes to support it with. There is going to be the setup play, but Nokbe is still alive. No, there is the crossbow down. By the way, the ultimate of the wild one has already been used. So Vietnam could actually try and force to go for that, yeah. that you know, uh, engage here. Yes. The Lord, but nope. Yeah, three ultimates up and uh, a lot of... Three, to three ultimates down, but a lot of gold to boot for Malaysia so that they yeah. can, like I said, they can brute force their way into fights and... Uh, the body of Smith, in fact, which works. It's so good. <laughs> Just the same. Yes, they did spend the crossbow of Tang, but the penalty zone was also used up. So there was no way Vietnam was in a place yeah. to contest. And just like that, it's safe to say that Malaysia is in control. Uh, the map is red. There's a Lord going to crash into a wave up top. So yeah, they're, they're going to leave that, but wait. Novinum Blast uh, will catch uh, two players of the side of uh, Team Malaysia as Papo is there for uh, that uh, free hit. But again, uh, wow. Team Vietnam Whoa. with a double kill for JC. But Daisy is done. And me is going to be the target. Cross broke down for Fa Fao. And Fafo with those free hits plus the help of Bunny will have a wipeout for Team Malaysia. Oh my. That really looked like a Vietnam tea fight, right? But Malaysia found an opening, and it was only because of the fact that the Frederick was isolated. Surely there were two important kills on the side of Team Malaysia, but with the follow-up from Bunny as well as um, Hani, they were able to supplement the damage so that eventually Fafa will just be able to clean up. Good job on the 1-1. One -one. Not even having to use the, the Inspire yep. or that one because of the positioning. And of course, everybody's just literally prepared to, to be taken out by the flight of the crossbow of Tang. Yep, and so far in this, what, 11-minute game that's about as chaotic as it gets for a team like Team Malaysia and Team Vietnam, I have to give credit to Hani. Hani on that farsa, oh, yeah. especially in that last engagement, yep. was in perfect range was blasting the right targets yes. and helped Team Malaysia gain all the more control of the map. They are now threatening an all-out yep. base turret wipeout. And uh, during that moment, even her position was really far oh, from yeah. uh, from the team fight. So it's a, yep. dif uh, it's a difficult thing for uh, Vietnam to look for the Farsa, look for yep. Hani most of the time. So uh, for, for Malaysia, I mean, the synergy is uh, just there in terms of how they set up a play. Even uh, um, uh, their Kufra or um, Arya is... Uh, Coming from uh, no, uh, out of nowhere, I mean, uh, Vietnam is not really expecting that R is going to be there most of the time. Yep, and they're a mother tongue of Bahasa Malaysia. I would say Hani right now is Kuat Gila. Crazy uh, strong. Yeah. She's amazing. I hope that uh, just for the sake of this series or this game to extend a little more, Vietnam to find an answer. But looking at their lineup, no one can find Hani. Yeah. And even then, look at Malaysia. You, we already talked about the fact that this Farsa is strong with the purple buff even. You can see Fafau also getting orange buff that was taken away from the enemy. Which means that every single hit will have a threatening factor already. We know that the one one is strong enough right in the metagame. But yeah. with two buffs and a lot of gold to go with it, Malaysia is prepared for an all-out strike in the middle or in the base, in fact, of Vietnam and just battering Ram their way through the defenses. As Malaysia will secure that Lord against uh, Vietnam and Aria was just there uh, to give vision for uh, the team and uh, Team Vietnam right now. I believe with the lineup that they have, they will struggle a bit in terms of uh, clearing the Ming and Wave or actually mm -hmm. trying to uh, defend uh, that Lord because this is, I consider uh, Lunox to be a single target type of a burst. In a way, yes. Yeah, um, I mean, I you don't really want to use that Chaos uh, Assault. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
just to shred the Lord, but we'll see as Lord will march in here at the bottom lane. When push comes to shove, sometimes that's all you got. Daisy. Oh, and is there as well. Oh! I mean, hogging the players of Vietnam. And the players of Vietnam are already all alive as uh, three players are down. And Malaysia, the top seeds of Group B. And it looked so good for Malaysia. They got the, I would say that they had the better draft anyways. When it comes to just the draft order and the raw power of the heroes that they were able to get. Getting the Farsa together with the 1-1. One -one. Third pick 1-1 one -one because they know that it will not be picked up. Them punishing the first pick Melissa by getting the Farsa yep. as the trade and immediately the Marcus. Oh my goodness, Malaysia making a real big case here in MLBB 